a new weekly challenge, the heavies. So this is bound to feature some special walker types. Getting burned, another camp for you to loot, escape through the gate, right? Yes, got it. Okay, our star hero is Guardian Carol. Fantastic hero. Good for these, uh, 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 good for these types of missions as well. I'm also bringing Yumiko and Princess. Uh, Yumiko, let's see about giving her the Hunter's Bow to reduce threat, because these other lasses are probably making a fair amount of noise. This is a classic mission. If you've been playing this game for pretty much any amount of time, you're going to be you're going to be pretty familiar with this. Uh, what I am going to do, I think, is Take Yumiko and Carol down the bottom here. Um, we'll have Princess at the top there. She's got that super long range weapon. I definitely recommend at least one of your characters has a ranged weapon. And since Carol, Guardian Carol, is the hero for this week, um, that should be pretty easy to do. Yeah, let's hit that with a special attack so that we reduce threat. Get that chap there. Get that there, yeah. So I, I love doing this, having somebody with a ranged weapon um, there next to the gate. You know, the other the other team, I, I think having ranged weapons is also a good idea for at least one other person who's going to go around the bottom and sort of take out the walkers there because a lot of them are on fire. If you engage with an enemy that's on fire with a melee character... They're going to start taking damage as well, which you don't really want. It can really stack up. When you've got uh, uh, Carol, she's just... She reminds me a bit of Sasha. She makes non-deadly attacks against the enemy uh, count for something, basically. You get another... You know, you get to make another attack with reduced damage. And, of course... If you inflict an attack that causes a status effect, she gets a charge point. So status effects are things like uh, uh, incendiary, setting the enemy alight, which is why I always give her the, the festive shotgun. Having princess with her makes for an interesting double team. You know, I think that the setup that I've got here is actually great. Guardian Carol, um, Yumiko and princess is a great combo. Swap clear the area. We've got some armoured walkers here. Uh, so I think we've got what we need to sort of deal with that. Yeah, I think I'm going to keep the obliterator just because it's quiet. Um, it doesn't make any threat. That is really, really helpful. Because this and the previous mission, obviously it is a consideration. You are going to be making noise. Again, we have that slight conundrum whereby setting the enemy alight is a good idea because uh, it will chip away at their health, but it also creates a problem if you have um, melee characters. So you've got to make a decision. Definitely before you open this, have your characters positioned where you want them to be Bear in mind that whoever is opening it, and unless it's uh, um, Glenn, is going to be inactive. And you just want to do it when you're not going to have any more reinforcements coming in. So check that threat counter. Make sure that there's not going to be any more walkers sort of running in. Make sure that you have your other two characters charged up with, with charge attacks. Ready to take out those armoured walkers as they bust out of the back there. Or at least incapacitate them whatever you have to sort of uh, uh, keep them at bay. Ooh, that is a nice piece of hunter armor. I like that. Certainly having melee characters, uh, things like the mace or bruisers who can stun three or four, you know, maybe all of those enemies all at once. It's pretty handy as well. So, oh, barbecue. I this was going to be on here. Yeah, I love this one. Let's, um... I, I would be remiss if I didn't bring the specialist. 
Uh, let's bring the Gaggy. Let's give her that. Yumiko, we don't need to worry about the threat counter because there is none. Let's have you toasting some enemies. In, in honor of the fact that this is called barbecue, we're, we're going to have uh, two weapons that can ignite the enemy. Now, there's usually... There is usually somebody up in the top left. There is not this time, I don't think. But be very, very careful. There he is. There he is. Okay. Okay, watch out for that. SOB. Um, he seems to be there more often than not. So that is definitely the first thing to look out for. The next is... I mean, this... It's a kill all walkers. Um... With a, a very limited number of very tough enemies. This is where you want to really think about isolating the enemies. So that they're not going to flood you. Be very careful with your position. If you suddenly come face to face with one of them. You know, it can it can stun you. It could really, really do some damage. So let them sort of come to you. There's no time limit on this. There's no threat counter. You don't have to rush. You can be patient. You can make sure that you know where everything is before you start diving in. It's a great mission, actually. Um, you get a lot of points taking out unique walkers. So once you're you're starting to hit that difficulty limit, if if you really want to harvest some XP, make the use of that double XP that we've still got from that last um, sort of problem fix that they made from last week. And hit that mission, hit barbecue. You you know, you'll you'll really rack up those those points as quick mission. You know, not a challenge at all. And you will get lots and lots of XP. Double trouble, take down both of the tough walkers. Okay, well. Oh, I know this one, I know this one. Let's bring, uh, let's mix it up a little bit. Let's bring Mr. Mercer. So you're gonna start at a bit of a distance from these these targets. Uh, do I want a, yeah, no, stuff it. What the heck, come on, let's go nuts. What the hell? Uh, so let's, this, it's not necessarily the wisest kind of setup, but I, I don't care. I'm just, I, I just want to blow some stuff up, so uh, that's what we're going to do. So you've got two big guys, one there, one over there. Got to take them both down. Pretty easy to do on earlier missions, but on trickier ones, well, you've got to bear in mind that it might take a while. You've got a threat counter. Uh, that can certainly be a problem. Must, must, must keep an eye on that threat counter. Uh, it ticks over quickly. Bad guys appear suddenly. And they cut off your escape. So they just come flooding in from everywhere. Flipping disaster. It really, really is. You can see from here, obviously, where they, they sort of come in from. So... Don't let them catch you out. All corners. They really, really do. So instead of doing what I did, which was give Yumiko the biggest, noisiest uh, shooter weapon that you possibly can, you might want to think about doing things a little more stealthily and a little more quietly, especially when things get more difficult. Yeah, that gung-ho method, it's... it's I definitely don't recommend that as a prime tactic. It's it's because we're on these early difficulties, not much of a challenge. I'm willing to risk it for a biscuit. Okay, come on, come on, the heavies. What else do you have for us? Armor oh, compound, kill all walkers. Okay, just screw it. Yeah, I'm keeping the pulverizer. Again, not the best setup, but kind of actually sort of not the worst either. There's sort of some logic to it. Kill all walkers missions. Hopefully you don't struggle with these. Definitely the easiest mission type. Uh, if you are struggling, think of weapons that are going to hinder 
the movement of the enemies, ideally things that will let you move freely. Characters like Carol, absolutely great. Traits like Incendiary that set the enemy alight, absolutely fantastic. Characters like Mercer, Yumiko giving you multiple shots and chances to charge up charge points on characters like, say, Princess is absolutely fantastic. Again, you're lucky that we've got a good leader here in Guardian Carol. She's a good choice for these particular types of missions. So you should be able to get a really, really good flipping score. Last week's challenge I found pretty tough. Reverse escape, handrails, tough missions. This is an easier set. Not saying it's a walk in the park. It is definitely an easier set. You can definitely gear yourself up to take out heavy walkers. Clean the area by taking out all the walkers. I think this was one of the missions that was on the last um, mission set. Is that correct? Again, this, this sort of setup... I mean, the characters, yes, the weapons that I've gone for are, are a little bonkers. Don't go thinking that, like, this is some fantastic award-winning sort of uh, uh, setup. This particular team with this particular weapons, because they're not. Um, yeah. I'm just sort of having some fun. Incendiary, though, if you don't tend to set things alight, I recommend that you try it with this uh, particular weekly challenge and you'll realize just how effective it can be, especially at taking down those kinds of walkers that you would otherwise just be sat there plugging away at. A lot of these uh, tanks can't be, but armored walkers, they can be stunned. Lots of ways to stun them. So keep that in mind. Oh, it's so nice to have round passes back. 600 stars, 12 minutes. That's how it should be. Right, are we back to it? Getting burnt. Yes, we are. So those are the challenges in the heavies weekly challenge. If you have any dramas, please do let me know and me and the community will help. But you should be able to get a good old score with these. So try hard. See how you do. Again, if you struggle, if you hit that wall, let us know and we'll help. But in any case, thank you for watching.